Hello everyone, this is Nick and welcome back to another video. Now, today is New Year's Eve. Um, it's the end of 2017 and it's been quite an interesting uh, year in terms of this channel. I mean, there haven't always been the most frequent uploads and especially recently, I'm sorry about that, I suppose life and stuff is just kind of getting in the way but I am trying to get out interesting new videos like today um, so today I thought I would do a um, painting and it's a sort of a cropped in self portrait of my eyes and nose um, and I thought this would be pretty cool to do because at the start of this year I did a video on how to find your art style and um, I did a sort of more cartoony type drawing and to be honest didn't really like it I th think it's pretty bad looking at it now but I suppose that just shows um, you know my opinions <laughs> but um, so I thought I would do this painting uh, it's an acrylic painting and quickly just for kind of tools uh, that I'm using I am using uh, I think it's some mixed media paper uh, some just regular kind of paint brushes that I found and some De La Rowney acrylic paint um, and I think that's kind of it for the materials really uh, just you know then water and stuff but so that's the materials and as you can see I've got this cool kind of light thing this cool setup that I thought looked quite cool so I thought I'd test that out so let me know what you think of that with the uh, kind of vintagey looking light bulb I think it looks pretty cool but you know um, so I thought as I'm doing this self-portrait I thought it'd be quite a good idea to um, go through kind of my tips and stuff on how to paint uh, skin uh, as kind of like when you're painting portraits or whatever um, and although I'm using acrylic I suppose this is kind of applicable to different media um, but more of sort of more of loose uh, kind of impressionistic style painting um, which is the sort of thing that I'm doing here so to start off with what I did is I just found kind of a base tone of um, colors uh, using sort of more pinkish tones so by mixing uh, whites and reds and yellow ochres and bits of yellow and stuff to kind of get the more warmer tones and I kind of used that as a sort of base and then from there I start to kind of build up with different values and uh, different hues to kind of work out the um, three-dimensionality of the skin um, and it's important to note that next to me I have a reference now I know there's a lot of controversy about whether or not you should use references but you should <laughs> um, this reference I mainly use for um, the color I did obviously use it when I was sketching out at the start but I didn't include the sketching because I, don't know, I didn't think it was the interesting part um, so after I drew it all out um, and I started painting on top so I always keep looking at the reference at the different areas that I'm working on and the sorts of values and tones that that area has whether or not they're more warm or cold cool or um, kind of more greeny or red or whatever it may be and if you keep referencing it then it's a lot easier to get more realistic skin tones because otherwise it's very difficult to kind of see where um, your different values lie and whether or not you're using kind of complementary colors and whether or not it's all kind of works together well so as you can see I've started to build in tone using kind of some more cooler but still sort of warmish colours, kind of more purples and blues in the shadows and I've just started to kind of loosely map out where my different um, darkest areas are, so like the nostrils then above the eye um, and the eyelid and sort of working out roughly where my values are going to be. So as you can see by now I've kind of roughed in all of the um, skin sort of areas um, and have started to have a look at the eye. Now interestingly uh, another thing which is very uh, good to uh, use is contrast but not just contrast in terms of uh, 
values, so using darkest versus lighter colours, but also in terms of colour. So for example, the skin on the whole in this is very warm, using lots of kind of oranges and pinks and yellows sorts of tones. But the eyes, because my eyes are green, the eyes are more cool. So there's more blues and greens and purples and things in there. And because of that contrast between the warm and the cool tones, it really draws the eye to the eyes, which in this case is what I want, because I want the attention to be on the eyes in this sort of portrait. So by using colour contrast, that's a really useful thing to do to help kind of bring attention to certain areas of the painting and kind of help make certain areas stand out. So for the um, other eye, I try to match it as best I could with the other using the more cool tones. And you can already see that the painting's starting to um, come together, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I also uh, started kind of blocking in areas of the eyebrows um, because I have very big, dark eyebrows. So they're quite a key feature, I suppose, of my uh, face. So I just kind of block them in with kind of more darkish blues, purplish sort of colors. Um, and I've started going in with the glasses. Now, I don't particularly like doing these sorts of parts only because I don't really like doing the um, more like solid shapes, some more kind of actual man-made structures like the glasses and how they have to have a f certain shape and trying to make each lens look the same as the other. I don't know, I'm not really a, a fan of that sort of thing. I just prefer doing the more actual painting but I went in and used the same sort of ideas because my my glasses are the ones where you can sort of see kind of bits of brown and red depending on where you look at them so that is how I just went in and kind of added a few more tones throughout the glasses to kind of make them stand out and really that's kind of it you just want to mainly look at your colors and your tones and using color contrast those are the few things that you should do when painting skin. Um, but just for the last part of the video, I just thought I'd quickly talk about uh, 2018. So I would really like um, to be more frequent in uploading and I really will try, um, but with exams and kind of life and things, it's not always easy, but I will try my best to try and get cool new content out. Hopefully more stuff like this, kind of more kind of paintings and drawing and more realistic like portraits and landscapes. But um, leave me a comment and let me know the sorts of things that you want to look at because that will really help because then I can sort of tailor uh, my content to the things you want to see. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks again for over 500 subscribers now. It's, it's pretty cool so thank you um i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time with another video goodbye